What's up my tech car and gun fanatics? And if this is your first time coming to the channel, welcome in. I have something pretty freaking awesome today that the Glock store sent over to the channel. And first off, I wanna say big shout outs to Lenny at the Glock store in Nashville and also Dan. All right guys, so what we're gonna talk about today is the tungsten guide rod, all right? This is most definitely supposed to help with felt recoil and reduce muzzle jump. This is a pretty interesting product. And basically what you do, you take the tungsten guide rod and you just simply put it inside of your firearm. And I'm gonna show you how to install it inside the firearm. And before we get started here, I'm gonna show you that the firearm is empty. Nothing at all in the chamber, as you can see. All right, you can actually see the uh, end cap right there, guys. And when I install it, you'll see that'll change a different color uh, if you use a different color for the end cap there, okay? So it's pretty, pretty sweet. Of course, you can get this uh, for the Gen 4s, the Gen 5s, etc., and things like that. You have the Glock 45 uh, that I'm gonna install it in, all right? So let's go ahead and let's jump into it. All right, you all. So let's go ahead and look at this awesome, awesome product, uh, the uh, tungsten guide rod here, okay? Um, now, this should help reduce felt recoil and significantly reduce muzzle jump, okay? Um, in turn, you should be able to shoot faster and more accurately, which helps with your groupings, tighter groupings and things of that nature. So we're gonna check it out. I'm actually gonna take you guys out to the range also. So you'll be able to see, you know, how the gun handles when I'm shooting. I'm gonna put it in and then shoot with that. So let's go ahead and open it up and look at this bad boy here. Uh, get inside the box here. And just to let you guys know, this little thing has some weight to it. So when you compare the weight to the stock guide rod and you compare the weight to the uh, tungsten guide rod, it's most definitely a difference uh, with the weight, and that does help with the recoil, controlling that recoil. And a matter of fact, I have a scale here, and we're gonna weigh it. Uh, we're gonna weigh both of them in a few minutes here, so. All right, so let's look at this here. You have your upper spring right here. You also have your lower spring, and your guide rod is in the middle there, okay? You have your end cap right here. Now, keep in mind you can get different colors for this area here, okay? Which is really, really cool. So let me show you what that looks like here. All right, so as you can see, they have a variety of different colors there on the end cap there. So look at that. And that just kinda, you know, shows you what it looks like. And it's pretty, pretty cool because when you have your firearm here. And just to let you guys know, it is empty. Nothing is in the chamber, no magazine, nothing at all, all right? You can see the end cap right there, and that will be a different color. So say for instance, you have some other accessories that you may wanna be uniformed with and, and match on your firearm, you can match that end cap right there, which makes it look really, really cool, okay? All right, so let me show you a little bit more here. So while we're looking here, um, let's go ahead and look at some of the uh, different color options here. All right, so here's some of the color options. And just keep in mind, guys, if you're looking at price, prices range from around $80 to $90, uh, depending on what you get. And they do have them from the, uh, the Gen 4s, the Gen 5s, et cetera, okay? Uh, that you can put inside your firearm. So right here, of course, you have black, uh, you have blue right there. You do have flat dark earth, which is really, really cool. Um, you have gold, you have pink. That'd be super dope if you got some kind of pink set up on the firearm. You have red right there, and then you have uh, stainless steel, all right? So that's it right there for the colors, guys. And again, big shout out to Lenny and Dan for sending over this awesome product to my channel. I really, really appreciate that. All right, so let's go ahead and install this inside the firearm here. I want you guys to see this. 
So right here, I have my Glock and I've showed you already that it is secure and ready to go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take the slide off like so. All right, take that off. Okay, so right here is your standard stock guide rod and spring. So we're gonna take this off, guys. Just kind of push up, lift up, and it's really easy. It comes right out, all right? So that's it right there. You have your burrow. So that's it. So as you can see, the tungsten guide rod is a little bit chunkier. And like I said, it has more weight and that's the standard one. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna weigh these right here on the scale. So let's go ahead and weigh it. All right, so let's go ahead and weigh the stock um, guide rod first. So let's see what we have here. All right, so with this one right here, it is 18.32 grams, okay? That's for the stock one. Let's go ahead and look at the other one here. The tungsten guy, Rod. Look at that, crazy. You're dealing with 41 grams. Big difference, guys, 41 grams. All right, so you see the scale. Um, a lot of people just tell you that it weighs a little bit more, but I'm actually showing you that it weighs a little bit more, okay? All right, so that's it for the weight. So big difference in weight. Okay, so let's go ahead and install the new tungsten guide rod. So it's super easy, guys, all right? So you have your end cap right there and you just stick it in the inside. Now what you wanna do you have this area right here, okay? That has a little cutout. You wanna make sure when you put it in, you push down on that area and make sure it's flush and fit in the inside right there. So that's good to go, all right? And it fits like a glove. And that's how, that's how easy it is, guys. Just make sure it's in there really good. Put your slide back on. And you can even fill it a spring. And look at that. It even gives it a nice little, look at that. I love the way that color looks, you know. So then if I want to put some kind of, you know, color that matches that on the end, it'll be really, really nice. But I thought that was pretty cool with that. So I'm going to leave it like that. Um, and that's how it looks, guys. You can feel the weight in the firearm also. So it does give it that extra added weight. All right, so let's go ahead and let's get to the range. All right, guys, so we're about to end this review, but I just wanna show you, I'm not gonna shoot with the stock guide rod. I'm actually gonna shoot with the tungsten guide rod uh, because I already know how the stock guide rod shoots. So I'm gonna shoot with the tungsten guide rod because I already know how the stock guide rod shoots. So I'm gonna show you that it's in here first. So here we go. Guy rod, guys. So it's already in there. Go. All right, guys. So, I mean. The spring is a little bit tighter in this tungsten guide rod. It's a little bit different. It does add some weight to it. Does it really help with accuracy? Not so so. From my observations, I would say maybe, maybe not. But it's a good look on the gun. It makes it a little bit extra heavy for recoil control. So um, not too bad at all. All right, so I really enjoy shooting down there. Have to visit the Glock store if you're ever in the Nashville area. Please do check them out. It's a really, really nice range and it's totally different from any other ranges, guys. Make sure that you look in the description below and you'll see my campsite uh, page where you can click on the link and it'll lead you to where you can order one of these tungsten guide rods, okay? 
Um, unfortunately, I can't just post the actual link in my description. So I have to go through another site, which is my campsite page. And you'll see that link in the description once you click on that. Like I said, you'll go straight to the Glock store, guys, where you can order one of these and pick them up, all right? Please like, comment, subscribe, smash that notification bell. So whenever I roll out the latest videos, you'll be able to receive them. And remember, I'm not, I'm not.